Hello and welcome to my channel. So today's video is coming to you from the little garden kitchen where we are going to be making some crispy zucchini bites. And I'm very excited to be using my very first uh, zucchini from the garden this year. Uh, you can also use ones brought in from the store or from the market garden. So let's get started and let's get making some crispy zucchini bites. Okay, so here are the ingredients that we're going to be using in today's recipe. Starting off with, of course, our zucchini, and I'm going to be seasoning it with some salt and pepper. I'm gonna be using some garlic powder and some freshly dried oregano that I have uh, harvested from my garden. And I'm also gonna be adding this, these are gar garlic scapes that I just cut off my uh, garlic plants out in the garden, and I just thought these would be a nice thing to add some extra garlicky flavor. I'm gonna try chopping them up really fine and see if we can kind of work it into the, uh, the coating, which is gonna consist of some Parmesan cheese and some breadcrumbs. So first thing, let's cut up the zucchini. Now I would say you would probably normally use two or three zucchini when you're doing this. I only, this is my only one that I've gotten out of the garden so far. So I just wanted to try it out. There's just two of us for supper tonight. So this will uh, be good for two people. So I'm just gonna try and cut them into about a half inch to you know a third inch size, which is a little bit, not too thick, but they are gonna shrink up a little bit. You can also use a mandolin if you want to um, use that to slice them up and just have it at kind of the, the thickest setting. So you can just see here how thick I'm doing these. And I like to use zucchinis when they're not too big because they don't have as much seeds in them. So this is just a good size right now. And I'm gonna be using my, you can use paper towel, but I'm gonna be using my reusable cotton towel here just to try to get a little bit of the moisture out of them before we start cooking. If you've used, cooked with zucchini before, you know that it releases a lot of moisture. So whatever you can get out of it before cooking is always good. So by doing the salt on it right now, that will also help to draw out a little bit of that extra moisture. So I'll just let that sit here while we get the rest of the stuff ready. Cover it up with another layer of cloth and just let it absorb a little bit of that moisture. So the oven should be turned on to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to be lining my cookie sheet with tin foil. You could also use parchment paper. I'm also going to be using olive oil to coat the uh, zucchini so that everything sticks to it. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit here on my... So I'm going to do something, an extra step here that totally isn't necessary, but I just wanted to try and incorporate this garlic scapes into the breadcrumb mixture and the Parmesan cheese I'm using is kind of a flake, so it's not going to really attach very easily. If you were shredding your Parmesan into a finer uh, shredding, it would probably work okay just to mix it right in with the breadcrumbs and coat your uh, zucchini with it, but I'm going to blitz it a little bit in my magic bullet just to make a, a really nice fine coating. So if you've never used garlic scapes before, uh, these are what you need to cut off your garlic plants. When they start to curl like this, it means your garlic plant is um, shooting out a, a flower kind of thing and going to seed. So you chop these off and then all the energy goes back into the bulb of your new um, garlic plant and usually that means it's going to be ready to harvest soon so so these are great to add to your cooking i like to just use my herb scissors here to chop them up so i'm going to add just uh, about three of them into this breadcrumb mixture it smells really good Okay, 
So the zucchini has been sitting in the cloth here for 10-15 minutes. Absorbed a little bit of the moisture. Now we're just going to throw it into this container and get it coated up. So first of all, I'm going to give it a good drizzle of olive oil so that everything sticks to it. Okay, so we've got this all coated. Let's add a few more seasonings now. So this is totally optional what you would like to put in, but I'm gonna, we've already done some salt, so I'm gonna add some pepper. And garlic powder. So I got those garlic scapes. I won't add as much as maybe I would normally. some fresh oregano Now the breadcrumbs mixture is totally optional how you want to make it. You could just do Parmesan cheese if you don't want to have any of the bread in there. And I, like I said, I have breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, and my garlic scapes. So I'm just going to dump it all in. Put this lid on and just give it a really good shake. sure I'm gonna wish I had more than one zucchini tonight but it's be a nice taste test for the first garden zucchini of the year so you can see it's stuck there pretty good it's a little bit extra so I will just maybe add some to the top once uh, I get this spread out in the pan Press it in to make sure it's sticking really well. Okay, so here it is, all ready to go into the oven. I'm going to be putting it in there for about 20 minutes and probably checking it about halfway through just to give it a little bit of a stir, maybe flip them over, see how they're doing and if they're uh, browning up and crisping up. Smells amazing. One thing I would recommend if you're making these is to flip them about halfway through at the 10 minute mark. As you can see, they have a nice crispy bottom here. I didn't flip them, but uh, I would recommend doing that and probably will do that next time. Just so you have a crispy layer on both sides. Okay, we are going to test out the <laughs> spicy zucchini bites. You look excited. What do you think? Give them a taste. Okay. 
kind of crunchy. What do you think of the texture? <laughs> They've got a nice garlicky flavor. I don't think you like them. Try one more. Mmm, mm. that one's crunchy. Mm. This one. Oh. That's a good one. I love, 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 love. Okay, thank you.